Hello friends, welcome to Mid-Morning Man. I'm glad you've tuned in today on this Tuesday morning and what a beautiful day it is. I think it's beautiful. At least it's a beautiful in the eyes of the Lord, I'm sure, because we're getting exactly what he wants us to have. And uh, we're not like California having these eight and 10 and two feet snowstorms in the mountains there in Southern California of all places. But here we are today on this Tuesday morning and what a what an opportunity we have as Christians to count for Jesus Christ as we are, and here's the theme for this week, as we are moving toward perfection. And by the way, you say, you think we'll ever be perfect when we get to heaven? But in the meantime, I believe God still wants us to strive to move toward perfection. And yesterday we set out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God hath shined. God shined out of Zion, out of out of Jerusalem, out of the holy city, God shined, and it, it was perfection, the beauty. Uh, God shined out of that perfection. Well, I'm telling you, God is perfect. He makes no mistakes. Everything he says in his book is correct. And everything that we do to try to obey the word of God or try to implement it into our life or try to study it or memorize verses or whatever we do, it you know, that just gives us a little bit more of an edge of perfection. Now, again, we won't be perfect till we get to heaven, but the journey can be a whole lot more fun if we're striving toward that, if we're moving toward perfection while we're here on planet Earth. Well, on this Tuesday morning, uh, from here from our home office, uh, I want you to think with me uh, about Psalm number 19, verse number 7, and Psalm number 18, verse number 30. So if you want to jot those down, you can. And here's what the Bible says. Psalm 18, verse number seven, the law of the Lord is perfect. There it is. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. Isn't that a great verse? The law of the Lord is perfect. It is perfect. There's no mistakes in it, no flaws in it. And we can, we can believe God. We can take him at his word and it will, the law of the Lord converts the soul. You say, I wish I knew how to get to heaven. Well, get in the book or contact us. Send me a, a private message or, or put, make a comment saying, I would like to know more about how I can be sure of heaven. I'll be happy to send you the plan of salvation. God's simple plan of salvation. He made it so simple that even a child could, could learn it. Jesus even said, let the little children come unto me for the, them is the kingdom of heaven. And how important that is. That was Psalm number 19, verse seven, the law of the Lord's perfect, converting the soul, helping you to get saved. And the testimony of the Lord is sure it's right where it's supposed to be. It's, it's a help to you, and you can believe it. You can take God at his word, making wise the simple. In Psalm number 18, verse number 30, the Bible says this, As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. Him. You say, what's a buckler? It, a buckler is a small shield used for defense when you're in a battle. And I tell you, the truth of the matter is, we Christians are in a battle today with the devil and with much of the world and the philosophy of the world and the mindset of the world and, and fighting for that which is right and pressures coming from every direction, uh, saying that, that maybe we are being judgmental or that we're self-righteous or something else. But ladies and gentlemen, uh, the word of God is a buckler. It's, it's a shield for us. The word of the Lord is tried and he is a buckler to all those that trust in him. And I pray and hope that you trust in God with all your heart and all your mind and all your soul and that you're living for him, that you're growing or moving toward perfection. What a wonderful thought. What a wonderful idea. I pray that that's the reality in your life. And I pray if it's not, You'll think about that today and say, by the grace of God, I'm going to become that growing Christian. I'm going to be moving toward perfection. I may not ever get to the point where I want to be and able to do everything I'd like to do and, and be a perfect person, but I know I can improve. I can grow. I can become what God wants me to become as I move in that right direction. Father, thank you for the opportunity we have to come to you 
on a weekday basis, Monday through Friday. God, help us to be what you want us to be. We give you the praise. We love you. We thank you. And we, Lord, I thank you, especially for those who tune in on a regular basis. I see their names. I see their comments. I, and Lord, it's just a blessing. And I pray that you'll bless them. In Jesus' name, amen.